Today on Two Guys on a Ride, we're going to review the 2021 Hyundai Sonata, and this is the inline trim edition. I'll tell you about the horsepower, cargo dimensions, and safety. And I'll tell you about the interior, the controls, and all the technology. Before we get started, take a moment, click on that subscribe button down below, and hit that bell notification so you never miss one of our videos. That's right. So, what do you say, mm -hmm. Nate? Let's go for a ride. Today we're working with our friends at Maury's 394 Hyundai in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. The 2021 Hyundai Sonata is available in five trim levels, starting with the SE at $23,950, the SEL at $25,800, the SL Plus at $28,003, the Inline at $33,003, and the Limited at $33,950. This is the Sonata Inline and is presented here in beautiful Hampton Gray and it has an N unique sport front seats and leather and Dynamica seating surfaces. And its MSRP is $34,534. Hyundai says this is the most powerful Sonata ever and it's powered by a SmartStream 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine with gas direct and multi-port fuel injection and it has continuously variable valve timing all in producing 290 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. It's driven by an N eight-speed wet dual clutch transmission with paddle shifters and drive mode select and it has front wheel drive. Now in my reviews I always mention the horsepower and torque numbers that a vehicle has but what does that really mean and how does it apply to you and how you use the vehicle? What exactly is horsepower and what is torque? Well, horsepower is a unit of measurement used to denote power or the rate at which work is done by an engine or a motor. Your car's horsepower denotes how quickly that work can be done with more power allowing for quicker work. Torque is force multiplied by distance. In the case of cars, the rotational equivalent of linear force. Essentially, the amount of force applied to an object with a twisting motion, such as the motor applying force to a crankshaft, which in turn rotates the drive shaft or the transmission and rotates your tires. So, so what's the difference between horsepower and torque? Well, they're very much, very much two sides of the same coin as one goes with the other. Torque being the force and horsepower being the rate at which that force is done. The difference is torque is doing the work while horsepower is how fast that work is being done. So all that's gibberish maybe, maybe it clarified some things. Hopefully it did, so now you know. All right, let's take a look out front. You see it does have the automatic on-off aero composite LED headlights with auto high beam assist, and they have the unique signature LED running lights that come up into the hood, and they blend just seamlessly into the chrome strip that runs along the belt line. They end about right here. You can see the little stop point, but it's not bad at all. It really does look cool. It does have a black gloss, gloss black grill surround with the Hyundai logo up front and center. And you see that inline badge over on the passenger side of the grill. Now this is an inline unique body colored front bumper with the black aero vents and functional side curtain vents and parking sensors as well. Below that, is a gloss black splitter and air intake and then up top is a nice simple center domed hood and above that is an acoustic film windshield with solar control glass and it does have speed sensitive variable intermittent wipers let's take a look along the side 
Okay, along the side, I really do like those aero vents. Uh, they are actually functioning well on the leading edge of the front fenders, just, just ahead of the wheel wells. Uh, really kind of cool looking detail. And these are 19 inch N unique machine faced aluminum alloy wheels with gloss black painted pockets. And they are wrapped in 245-40R19 Pirelli P0 all season tires. Now up front is a McPherson strut suspension with coil springs and a stabilizer bar. And then of course out back is an independent multi-link rear suspension with gas shocks and stabilizer bar as well. It does have full wheel anti-lock brakes with 13.6 front rotors and 12.8 inch rear brake rotors. And I do like the nice simple inline badging right on the uh, fenders and it also has an aggressive gloss black flared rocker panel molding that looks really sharp on this vehicle. These are gloss black heated and manual folding side mirrors and they have the integrated LED turn signal indicators and I do like the strong flowing body side lines and character lines and I love that fast back or five door lift back design if you will. Now there are body colored door handles and they have the uh, satin chrome uh, caps on them. And there is also satin chrome belt line and window trim moldings as well. Although I do think it would have looked a little better had they gone with the gloss black uh, trim around the window wells and for the belt line like they did on the windshield and the uh, C, uh, B and C pillars as well as the rocker panel. That would have looked so much better, I think. Up top, there is a nice, again, gloss black top with a panoramic sunroof. Let's take a look around back. Okay, out back, this is a heated fixed rear window and it is a hands-free smart trunk release. And it does have the inline gloss black rear spoiler with the little arrow blades on top of the tail light housings. And these are full LED tail lights. And I love that red reflector that spans across the rear deck lid. Also in the middle up here, there is the rear view camera and you can see the Hyundai logo. And I like how Sonata is nice in block letters and spelled out across the bottom of the deck lid. And just like the front, this is an N unique body colored rear bumper with gloss black lower trim and diffuser with the reverse lights mounted just above those really cool looking twin tip dual exhaust. And no, it's if you see it on camera, it's not snowing out here. It's actually springtime, so it's the trees blowing uh, the flowers off the trees. Now the second row seats are split folding 60-40 and under the cargo area, there is additional storage and there is the optional spare tire and tool kit as well. Max cargo volume uh, with the seats in place is 16 cubic feet. Cargo floor length with the seats folded down. Cargo floor length to the front row to the rear sill is 77 inches. Cargo floor length to the second row to the rear sill is 43 inches. Cargo width at the belt line is 47 inches. Cargo width at the wheel houses is 40 inches and cargo opening height is 21 inches. Lift over height, a nice low 28 inches. So what are some of the safety systems available on this 2021 Hyundai Sonata N-Line? Well, one of my favorites right off the top, blind spot collision avoidance assist. I love that blind spot warning. You do also have rear cross traffic collision assist. It has forward collision assist with pedestrian detection really nice thing to have for just safety of everyone involved. Lane following assist and lane keeping assist. I mentioned before it does have ABS. It does have smart cruise control with stop and go. It has electronic stability control, safe exit warning, and so much more. Let's talk next about the dimensions. Okay. Front track is 63.5 inches, rear track 63.8 inches, width with the mirrors folded 73.2 inches, length 192.9, height 56.9 inches, wheelbase 111.8 inches. It does have a ground clearance of 5.3 inches. Its overall curb weight 3,552 pounds and it has a maximum payload of 1,162 pounds. And when properly equipped, it can actually tow up to a thousand pounds. It has a turning circle, 
35.9 feet and a fuel tank capacity of 14.8 gallons. So what about its safety? Well, IIHS has given it, a, given it five stars for side crash and rollover. However, National Highway Traffic Set Transportation Safety Administration has not yet rated it. Performance, zero to 60, 5.2 seconds. Standing quarter mile, 13.6 seconds. Has a top speed, 145 miles an hour, and it's 60 to zero braking, a very short, confident, 110 feet. So what is about its appearance? Well, it takes the already good looking body of the standard Sonata and it adds some sportier styling with big air intakes and a unique grille, a rear spoiler, beautiful wheels, and those really, really sexy quad exhaust tips. What about its warranty? Well, Hyundai, synonymous with great warranties. So a basic warranty of five years, 60,000 miles, powertrain warranty 10 years, 100,000 miles, and complimentary maintenance of three years and 36,000 miles. What about its economy? It is a performance sports car. Well, 23 city, 33 highway, and 27 combined. So not bad at all. Now let's take a look inside, but before we do, take a moment, check out the notes in the description down below, and please give us a like, leave a comment, and don't forget, Click on that subscribe button down below. All right, stepping on the inside here, we do have soft touch all along in here. This is hard plastic down in here. And then you've got some uh, slightly, well, it's got a soft surface to it, but it's, a, it's pretty much a firm texture right there. Uh, you do have your window lockout. You've got standard power windows in the rear. You've got auto up and down in the front. And your unlock and lock buttons as well as your mirror controls here. They are manually folding. Uh, down here you have one of your 12 Bose speakers. And then you do have a bottle holder right here along with some storage in the front part of the door. Now, the seats. Well, these are really, really nice seats to sit in because they're so well bolstered. They are Napa leather with a Dynamica suede in the middle. And of course, with these, uh, with the N-Line, you get the, these are special sports seats for the N-Line. You get the, uh, the N logo up there. And then down here on the floor mat, you get the N-Line logo again. And then down here, you have the brushed aluminum uh, pedals and footrests. They look really, really nice. You got your hood release right here. You got your fuse panel right up in here. And then coming up here, you have got your trunk release right here, trash control, uh, parking brake right here, your dashboard brightness and dimness controls, and your lane keeping assist right here. It is a manual telescope and tilting steering wheel and that lever is right there the dimensions in the front are headroom 40 inches shoulder room 57.9 inches hip room 54.6 inches and finally leg room 46.1 inches now let's step in and start it up all right it is a push start that's located right up here to the right It does have the 12.3 inch digital dash and, and again the, the 3D graphics on the speedometer and tack look amazing. And we'll cut another video on all the information uh, in the driver's information screen and the infotainment screen in another video. You can click on uh, the link below. Now, uh, the uh, steering wheel itself uh, is got, does have the uh, N for the N-Line logo on it. And it's a qu quite a comfortable steering wheel, you know, you've got um, Good grips right here. You can handle it in right, right in here. It is not a three-spoke, but um, you know it's quite comfortable when you're driving. Uh, it is leather covered, and then uh, right behind that, you've got your light controls right here. This does have auto lights, including auto high beam. And then over on the right-hand side, you have the windshield wiper controls. Now on the steering wheel itself, 
you have voice command here. You have a mode button that has to do with uh, the, the, the infotainment screen. You have a volume up and down, and then if you push it, it's a mute. You can change stations or tracks with this button. You've got a, a, end, a phone, make a phone call here. You've got to end a phone call here. And then on the right hand side, you have uh, the menu button and then an up, down, plus a push OK to control all the information in the driver's information screen. And then this is your uh, lane keeping assist, so it keeps you centered in the lane. And then you have your cruise control right here. And then, of course, uh, uh, to set is down and then resume uh, is up and cancel is a push. And then you have your gap setter. This does have adaptive stop and go uh, cruise control. Moving over to the infotainment screen, I like how this is integrated into the dashboard and I actually really like the little curve that it comes with right here. I, I, I just functionally, I like that. I mean, I just think, or aesthetically, I like it. Uh, I just think it looks nice. All right, the infotainment screen itself is a 10.25 inch screen, has uh, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, AM and FM uh, radio, Sirius XM, HD radio, and Bluetooth. Um, uh, it has, uh, as far as the sound system goes, it is a 12 speaker Bose premium audio system. Coming down just below the infotainment screen, you do have your hazards button, which is front and center, very nice. You have dual zone auto climate control. You do have some uh, LCD readout inside each of the dials. And then um, uh, the, you do have a physical sync button right here just by pushing this, which I like when they have that. Okay, down below, you have got a 12 volt, 180 watt uh, plug in there. You do have, um, th this is the, an indicator for your wireless charging. If your phone's on there, it'll show orange if it's charging, green if it's charged. You have uh, a USB connection for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and then you have a charging USB. Now, all the USBs in this car are USB A's. The wireless charging pad itself is right here. It's got a kind of interesting ventilated uh, sort of design here with the cutouts. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any fan or anything running behind it, but it might allow some heat to escape there. All right, coming on back from there, you do have dual cup holders. You do have a phone holder, you know, right in here. And you do have one you can, you know, lay it that way as well. And then they do have rubber inserts that you can pull out and clean. Just to the left of that, you have got some dummy buttons right here. There's nothing there, but you do have your drive modes right here. Uh, and this switches between a uh, normal, sport, sport plus, and then you can make a custom setting where you can change the, the, uh, the throttle response uh, and the suspension and some other things. So that's right there. Coming back here, you have an auto hold button. Uh, so if you have this activated and you put your foot on the brake and come to a complete stop, you can take your foot off the brake and the car will remain stopped until you hit the accelerator again. Back just behind that, there's a little um, divot in the dashboard here in the center armrest. And you lift that up and you've got a fairly decent storage area down here. It's got a felt bottom. There are no additional buttons or, or uh, plugins or anything down there, lights. But it's fairly good size and does have a felt bottom to it. Coming on over here to the uh, glove compartment, you've got a large glove compartment, probably one of the largest I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's, you know, it's plastic on the inside, there's no soft covering on it, it's not a dampened open or anything, but uh, it is lockable. Coming on up to the rear view mirror, this is an auto dimming rear view mirror with the three home link buttons here. And then coming up to the top here, of course, you've got push activated reading lamps. This button will turn on all the lamps on the interior. This one will allow the lights to come on or not come on if the doors are open. And this is your panoramic sunroof control. So a simple push back once allows the shade to open. If you want it to stop, you just tap it again and the top comes up. And then you got a little uh, windscreen that pops up right here. Down in here, you have got your uh, blue link uh, button right here for blue, blue link services. You've got your SOS here, and then you've got, uh, um, I believe this is for calling for directions. It's part of the blue link package, uh, but it's specific to calling for directions. 
Okay, let's step into the second row. The dimensions in the second row are headroom 38.4 inches, shoulder room 56.1 inches, hip room 54.4 inches, and finally leg room 34.8 inches. Now let's step in and take a closer look. Okay, in the second row, you got your uh, window switch here. Of course, you've got a bottle storage area. You do have a little bit of extra storage here, but honestly, it's a, it's kind of a cramped area. I'm not really sure what you're gonna get in there besides candy wrappers. All right, um, the seats themselves are the same uh, Napa leather with the um, uh, Dynamica suede on there. And they're again, they're they're very comfortable. Um, you don't have any map pockets on the driver's side, but you do on the passenger side. You have a netted storage right there. And then uh, in the middle, you got air vents, and you have one USB-A charge port. Now the driver's seat is adjusted to where it was comfortable for me, and I have got you know like five inches of of knee room, a huge amount of space, and then headroom. I got a very adequate, decent uh, inch and a half to two inches of headroom, which is just really nice. Now, the panoramic sunroof does not come all the way back. It ends about right here, so that helps with the headroom, I'm sure. Uh, you do have uh, a pull-down armrest in the center with dual cup holders and a pass-through if you want to lay a phone or something in there. In addition to that, of course, you have your grab handle up here. You've got a coat hanger right here, and then you do have a reading lamp right here which is LED on both sides. Okay coming up next we're gonna take it for a ride and give you our impressions. Hi right, well it's my turn to take a drive in the 2021 Sonata N-Line and man this is fun to drive. <laughs> I love it anytime you switch modes that it makes a difference in the in the transmission shift points and the steering and the throttle and this definitely does. Between normal, sport, and sport plus, there's a notch to difference in, in each of those areas. What a blast to drive, oh my gosh. Now I also can see why it could be an everyday car. Put it in normal mode and it's fairly tame. It's fairly comfortable on the road, it's well insulated. Um, so really a nice drive, you know, I, I can again see how it would be an everyday uh, car. In terms of where everything lay, is laid out, well, the infotainment screen is right here. All the buttons are right within reach. Climate control is within reach. You know, you've got um, uh, all, your, all your steering, all your digital dash uh, buttons to control that are all right in here. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's uh, everything is just laid out really well. In terms of getting in and out, well, we'll overlay a video here and you'll see uh, just how easy it is to get in and out. This is a... Um, a car of course so it is lower so you're gonna have to sit down to get in and you have to climb up to get out uh, but that's any car in terms of parking well this has got a nice rear view uh, backup camera with dynamic solo guidelines uh, and sensors so it makes it fairly easy to do all right next up it's Rob's turn to drive and give you his impressions okay my turn in the Sonata N line and uh, first off, we're going to check this uh, 290 horsepower and 311 pound-foot of torque. Let me get over these railroad tracks and stop. And here we go. Acceleration. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting out of it real quick. I'm at 60 already. Oof. Really, really spun those front tires. Oh, boy. And you know, there, there is a type of launch on this, uh, but they say it's a little more squirmy because you turn off all the uh, traction control and all the electronic nannies and uh, just launching it on your own in Sport Plus is the smart thing to do. Uh, so it doesn't get a little loose on you. Uh, interior sound and quietness. Well, you just heard a little bit there, but I really had my foot in it, but overall, there we just went over some railroad tracks very well dampened very quiet uh, not bad at all very very well subdued and insulated in here safety systems included ABS uh, blind spot uh, rear cross traffic uh, forward pedestrian collision rear seat occupancy so when you get out it tells you to make sure to look in the back seat so you're not leaving a small child or an animal in there and locking them up inside of the vehicle 
So lots of safety features that are on uh, most modern cars, and this uh, this certainly uh, equals that, if not exceeds it. Overall, nice fit, no squeaks, no rattles. Uh, it's a very comfortable car, and uh, yeah, yeah. I think if you're looking for a sedan, which they still still sell a million of these, a uh, million sedans in the United States every year, so this would definitely be in the competitive field. Uh, and if you're looking for one with some guts to it, yeah, definitely the Sonata Inline. Well, that's our review of the 2021 Hyundai Sonata Inline, and we appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please click on that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.